Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and have you ever gone to the thrift and come back with some dope clothes just to realize they smell like three packs a day? Well, we have a couple items here that definitely smell like that, and together with their powers combined, it's a little overwhelming. So let's try to get this smoke out. Let's talk about methods you can use to get smoke smell out of clothing. Let's go. So the internet is replete with different uh, versions and methods used to get smoke smells out. Um, I've kind of gone through a bunch of different ones and I'm going to show you the ones that I use the most that seem to have the most effect and work the best for me. We have three garments that I'm going to be working on today. We have this t-shirt, we have a leather jacket, um, and we have a denim jacket and they sort of you know work their way back as far as the degree of how bad they smell so this one may need quite a bit less work than this one so we'll see we have a couple different methods let's talk about them now all right we're actually going to start out by putting the garments out in the sun just to see where we get after an hour or so um, i'm going to spread them all out uh, I use I like to use my car because uh, I can sort of move it to where the sun is and it's a nice fairly clean surface. Uh, so we're going to put all these guys out here, spread them out so that as much uh, surface area is being hit by the sun. Uh, the sun seems to have some sort of you know, ability to sort of break down some of the, the smoke smell. Um, and we're going to let these guys sit for a little bit and uh, come back and see what happens in a little bit. All right, now after about an hour or so, the leather jacket is, doesn't appear to have been affected all that much, uh, which sort of makes sense. It needs to be a little bit longer, but we don't want to dry out the leather. That's one thing we want to avoid is we don't want the leather to dry out. So we want to try a different method, uh, not go as heavy on the, the sun. So we're going to use dryer sheets, and these dryer sheets are uh, a little bit scented, but mostly not too strong. I would prefer to use less strong because you don't want to necessarily add a scent because if it doesn't work for your particular garment, you don't want like flowers and cigarette smell. So here we're going to uh, make sure that they're all covered and that, that we get as much surface area as we can with these, these sheets. Now we're going to wrap it up inside this bag and try to get it as, as airtight as possible. And we're gonna let it sit for uh, several intervals. We're gonna check after four hours, we're gonna check after a day. Um, and if it's not making much progress after a day, we might rethink things. Uh, but maybe you can leave it in as long as you'd like. It should work better as time goes on. All right, we didn't make as much progress with the denim jacket as I'd hope. So we're going to uh, go to the next step here, which is we're gonna use baking soda. And we're going to open up the jacket and we're going to put baking soda in as many areas of this jacket as we can to get as much surface area covered. Baking soda is fantastic for absorbing scents. That's why it's used a lot in refrigerators and other places. So we want to get as much baking soda on this jacket as possible in as many places as possible. This jacket is the worst of all of the garments that we're cleaning here today. So we want to get it as covered as possible. Then we're going to fold it up so that none of that stuff leaks out and it gets trapped inside. We're going to put it inside our trash bag. And then we're going to fill up the trash bag with more baking soda. Uh, we want to get it as much in there and as all over this as possible. Uh, because we will, after leaving, letting it sit for uh, a few hours, maybe even a day, we are going to wash it. And then we are going to sort of shake it around a little bit, make sure that that uh, baking soda is getting all over the garment itself. And then we'll uh, let it sit and wash it when it's after it's set for a little while. Now we're going to go back to the leather jacket. It's been in the bag for about 24 hours now. And we're going to create a mixture of... Uh, white vinegar and water about 50 50 and we're going to use this to wipe down the jacket uh, vinegar is a fantastic cleaner but we want to make sure that it's watered down because it is acidic and it can damage the leather if you use too much so but if we do it lightly uh, and uh, carefully you can have a pretty good result now you want to test the mixture of your vinegar and water in an area in which will not be seen if it does discolor in this case, it's actually working very well, actually cleaning up some of the other spots as well. Uh, so I don't feel like there's any problem here. We're going to go ahead and wipe down the rest of the jacket. 
we're going to lightly uh, dampen our rag and then begin just to wash every surface area of this jacket. Be sure to pay attention to the uh, neck and collar area as if you're smoking a cigarette, that's where a lot of that smoke is first landing. But we're gonna get all over the place, uh, wiping down uh, every surface that we can get to and this should make a pretty significant difference. All right, now we have washed the jacket. We're gonna put it out in the sun again, uh, sort of to dry out and to continue the sun cleaning process. All right, now for the denim jacket. We've had it sitting for about 24 hours now. We're gonna take it out and we're going to put it in a wash and let it run through a cycle. We're gonna add a little bit of detergent. Um, it's probably best to let it wash with itself because it, this one is the very, very uh, smokiest of all of them so we don't really need anything else in there particularly getting the scent uh, so we're gonna wash it and then once we're done we're gonna actually uh, dry it in the Sun uh, to continue to try to get some of that smoke out with the Sun method all right so after using those methods we have three wonderful smelling garments the t-shirt only really needed the Sun and that was about it it was ready to go the leather jacket needed a bit more than that we needed to you know put it in the bag with the dryer uh, sheets for for a few days uh, and then wipe it down and it started smelling way better also remember the sun sun is very helpful and then the denim jacket obviously needed a lot more as far as uh, washing and baking soda and then more and more sun but those are the methods that help me and work for us so if you have a method that you really like leave it in the comments below and help out the community Otherwise, we'll see you guys on the next one. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later.